Today, local leaders officially unveiled their plan to drastically overhaul how San Diegans get around the county. And it includes the controversial tax for every mile someone drives. ABC 10 News reporter Sophia Hernandez is joining us now live. And Sophia Sandag showed what it wants to do and how it plans to pay for it. Kimberly, that's right. Today they talked about 30 different topics, the top being how much will this cost and how will it be funded? And there was lots of public comment specifically on this issue and Sandag is hoping that they will be able to generate about $172 billion from seven different sources. Now you can see from this graph the differences between the draft presented in May and what was suggested today. That's in pink. About $33 billion will come from the state. 31 billion from local government and 31 billion from federal government. Now future sales tax revenue went up to $28 billion. The per mileage tax revenue was the largest decline to $19 billion. Sandag says they would start charging drivers that in 2030. However, San Diego County citizens felt this was unfair. It does turn every single road into a toll road. It converts every private vehicle into a tracking device. I'm speaking to ask you to reconsider or make exceptions uh, for these kinds of activities for elderly, disabled families, people who need to get their cars and certainly can't afford to pay extra. Now, Sandag is also asking for $19 billion from managed lanes like tolls and $11 billion from Transnet. Now, as far as how the per mile tax will be tracked and charged and if exemptions will be made for certain people, there is no clear answer yet as to how. However, the board is hoping that by November 30th, when the final report is released, they'll get more answers and the board will be making their vote on December 10th. Reporting live, Sophia Hernandez, ABC 10 News. Sophia, thank you. When